I am all the voices in my head and none of them. A cacophony of silence so deafening my ears bleed. My blood, proof of both life and death. I am a poet, a grave robber, a necromancer, digging deep into the pain and trauma within the tomb I have become. My words, marionette strings making buried bones dance. Call me serial killer. First victim, age 10. Too weak to handle the jeering of fellow students. Her life, mine. Her death, a necessary evil, but quick so she wouldn't suffer. Second victim, age 17. Angst-ridden teen, her depression passed off as phase, dressing itself as goth. Her death, a fulfillment of her embracing the darkness within while avoiding the physical pain she feared. Third victim, age 20, rape. Next, 21, 26, 32, 40. You may think me monster, but I am not. I am a graveyard of shallow plots and issues not buried deep enough resurrect themselves, requiring their death to be repeated over and over. Did you know you can bury alive things? I have felt the weight of dirt on face and limbs, tasted earth between screams, too muffled to be heard. Did you know alive things buried become zombies? A defense mechanism to the rot which begs to devour. What do you do when the bodies you've buried are your own? When the murderer who took your life stares back at you in the mirror, how do you answer your reflection when it asks, Who am I? When the answer eludes you and you are not sure if you are serial killer or zombie resurrected, a version of yourself waiting to be killed, waiting for another you to take your place, remembered only in the lines of a new piece and the snaps of an audience, completely unaware of this cycle of life and death being carried out right in front of them.